everyone, welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Today I am sh coming on to share with you a quick project that I've been um, working on and I have been wanting to do a little bit more scrapbooking lately, which I have. Um, I've started putting some layouts in a larger album for our family as well as um, some memorial pages for my daughter, our late daughter. Um, who th this channel as well as my business is named after, which is Livy's Lovelies. Uh, most of you think my name is Livy's, but or Livy, but it's not. It's actually named after my late daughter, uh, Billy Olivia. So, with all that said, um, I w I have wanted to start adding more pages to her scrapbook album. Um, I started it about eight years ago when she passed away and I had not returned to it because it just was a difficult process. And so um, having already gone through the grieving process and in a place of healing, I just wanted to start back at it. So in order for me to sharpen my skills, I I'm using my son and his pictures <laughs> as the guinea pig. So um, I didn't want to do too much in the larger albums because those will probably be the keepsakes for our family. But I did want to start in a smaller size, in which case... I saw that um, some scrappers were using traveler sized notebook, traveler notebook sized albums. And so I'm not going to run out to the store immediately and buy one. I homeschool. I, we, we're in sports. I just don't have a lot of time to shop for crafts unless I do it online. And then there's the whole issue of is it the one that I want and blah, blah, blah. So I figured let me just try the process in the smaller one. So I recreated one using cereal boxes. Um, this here one believe it or not, is made from a cereal box. Well, cereal boxes. So, you know, having a seven-year-old around means that you're definitely going to have cereal in the house. And so, be it cereal boxes or pizza boxes or whatever, um, there's definitely enough cardboard and that I can use as cardstock or as um, like a chipboard page in order to make the pages. So what I did was I looked at the measurements for Traveler's Notebook and I found that they are, it, it's, I think it said eight and a quarter by four and five eighths. So that's the length and the width. And I'll put that measurement below in the description in case you would like to follow along or create one for yourself. And so um, I also, um, wanted to, well I had these on hand. These are from the Dollar Tree. These rings and they came in a pack I believe of eight or ten. And so I I don't think you really need three of the rings for this. I think two is sufficient. Um, just so that you don't have to um, try and uh, create around them. So two is fine. As you can see it closes just fine. It does wiggle a little bit but as you add more pages in it will decrease the amount that it wiggles by. So, um, all that aside, these are the measurements. This is the template that I use. And so I'll quickly show you how I put one together, put a page together. So, using the template page, and I'm just going to use a, a Sharpie just so you can see. I would normally outline it just so that I don't have to do all the measuring. I can just pull out the, um, you can use scissors or you can go ahead and use your paper cutter. Um, but for me, just to be able to do it really quickly and not have to um, have to have all my supplies out, I just go ahead and do it this way with scissors. I mean, you can do it this way with scissors is what I'm trying to say. So this is just standard cardstock that I've got from Walmart in a pack of pastels, I think it was. And let me put that off to the side. And then I am going to, for the sake of time management, let me just pull out my cutter. And, but again, you can always use scissors. If you've got the, 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 the dimensions correct, and I got to get a new blade because this one has gotten pretty. Um, one side of the blade is really dull and it pulls the paper, rips the paper. So, anyways, don't mind my babbling. Okay. 
and I'm not rounding any of the corners because I just want it to be universal and I want it to be easy for me to work with without having all of my supplies on hand in case like tonight I have baseball practice so I plan on bringing um, a few of his pictures along with some washi and some paper selections and you know and just lay it out at one of the picnic tables to be honest with you okay so I've done that then I'm just gonna get my this is off by a little bit but it doesn't matter get my paper punch or my hole punch hole punch that you can find at the Dollar Tree punch punch okay nothing that serious and then you take this and what I'm gonna do you just want about an inch a half an inch around each side so I'm just gonna use the paper cutter and if I was out and about I'd already have this cut out so that I wouldn't have to do this I could just glue and tape and blah 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 so as you can see the paper that I'm going to use and I'm only doing one side because you'll get the point of what I'm doing and it'll act as a mat for your page and you can scrap on top of it um, like this page here it's green in the back the cardstock just serves as a background and so the um, the pattern paper is laying on top of that. Now if you turn to the back of this page, there isn't anything on that side and whatever I plan on doing on here likely will be something with a nature theme or the outdoor pictures or something, but I'll use the green as a border for a page that I'll put um, a scrapbook paper that I'll lay on top of this. So I already went ahead and did several pages this way. So I'm just going to show you real quick how I did this here one. So the first thing I did was and I'm just using basic glue here this is not any type of crafters um, any type of fa fancy crafters glue this is just Eileen's ta uh, original tacky glue okay so I'm going around the edges this is not an exact science it's nothing intricate you just want to be able to glue this page down in the center of um, what we just cut out from the green cardstock okay okay so from there we just lay this down like this okay we don't need a, any type of scoring tool or anything like that I just use um, this little tool that came, I think they call it a bone folder, but it's not really an official one. It's just one that came with a punch board, the envelope punch board, just to um, seal it down, seal the glue down. Okay? And so once you have that like that, here's the thing. You want to take your scissors and go, go close to the corner and cut out like a semicircle because this will be now take a look and see how close that is to the uh, cardstock because it's not it's probably a millimeter away which is just enough to help cover the corner okay so we we'll do that to all four corners once we have that I'm gonna start with this side just in case my camera cuts off you take your glue, and this is why you don't need a boning folder, or you don't need to um, a score a scoreboard. Start from both the short edges, glue in the crease, because that's going to help your paper fold easy. Okay, the moisture from the glue will help your paper fold easy. Now you can use whatever method you have, any type of uh, adhesive that you have, but I found that when I use the thick wet glue it does penetrate the paper a little bit and it does allow me to bend it easier without it cracking okay so I will show you what I mean when I say that so then I take and let me just go in a little bit so you can see it so then I take 
the edge. You can use a butter knife if you don't have this. And then I make the sides meet up. Then once I have it like that, I just fold it over and hold it there for a quick second. About 10 seconds is good, okay? And then you'll do the same for all four sides, but you want to go from one side to the next. Make sure that those um, ends are, the parallel sides are done before you move on to the opposite sides, okay? So there we have that. I'm going to hold it. Okay. And I'm trying to rush a little bit because i got to get to the library and pick up books for this next, uh, for this project that my book report that my son is going to be working on. All right, and so I'm going to do this side. Now, I would strongly suggest punching these holes out before you get to the step of gluing because you'll find that it's not as easy. Let me do the other side. It's not as easy to punch through two layers of paper as it is one. Um, and then punch once you fold it over, you still have another layer of paper to fold. Did I say that right? To um, punch through. Okay. So let me go back to the other side now that I have that glued. And I know most people put down mats and stuff like that, but just for the sake of time and getting this back out to you guys, edit it and blah, blah, blah. As my, my son calls it, he says, he doesn't say blah, blah, blah. He says blob, blob, blob. <laughs> and I don't correct him either. Anyways, so... We are just going to continue. Let me scroll out a little bit. Oops. Fold it down. Make sure all of it. And you just continue to press. And again, you do one side at a time. And you might want to go back through. If you're using wet glue, go back and ensure that everything is laid down. What you don't want to happen is for it to pop up. And then, um, you know, when you're, when it's time to um, lay something on top of it for it to be popping up. So, that's just a quick little tip. Nothing that I learned. Just something that I'm sharing with you guys. You got to go back in. Just go ahead and lay some more glue back in. And lay it down. Okay? So, mistakes happen. Don't worry about it. But the good thing about it is when you're the side that you're folding it down on, it's um, you're going to mat that anyway. So if, even if you have a mistake, it's not a big deal. Okay, so this is the last side. And all of these corners are covered. Nothing is exposed because of the way we cut into the paper on the edges. Okay? So hopefully this will stick and all will be well. And we can wrap this little shoot of tips up and you guys can be on your merry way and off to create your own album let's see okay so I hope this video inspires you to start scrapping with what you have you do not have to go out to Michael's Hobby Lobby Tuesday morning and we'll have you to grab something you can actually do like a sample book or sample trial you know trial with you know cardboard that you have around the house it's a great way to recycle it's a great way to use up some of the items you have around the house but one of the things that one of the reasons why I wanted to do it like this was because a small one was because um, sometimes I don't have the time and I don't have the focus to really um, do a large layout or large spread and it's a, it's a great way to use up those scrap pieces of paper that you have um, lying around in your craft room because of the smaller size it takes a lot less to create a full spread and a lot less supplies and what have you so that is it and then I will add you know you can always add another layer to this side you know and again it does not have to be perfect because you're gonna end up covering up half the page anyways so I'm gonna add this one to my book um, I hope this has inspired you to start scrapping and if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I truly do appreciate all of your support in, in helping me grow this channel. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see in one of my scrapbooks um, or in one of my layouts, feel free to let me know. I think what I'll do is um, in an upcoming one is do a layout 
in a video um, just to show you how easy a process it is for the small traveler size notebooks and again I'm no I'm a beginner to this whole scrapbooking thing as well as to paper crafting but I like to venture out and I watch a several other um, youtubers and crafters put together these things and I'm a part of a couple of different communities one of them is Mercy Tiara's um, 27 day challenge as well as my creative life which is here on YouTube and her Facebook group so I'll link those below um, thanks for watching as always until we meet here again on YouTube stay encouraged stay blessed and stay creative and crafting bye for now <laughs>